Okay, we're gonna start by building a service learning system from scratch. And then what we'll do is once we've built it, we'll go through the process of actually administering it. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually create a new form, okay? So let's say okay to that one. Now this form is the form that the students will complete um, when they're at their service learning. So we're gonna call it student service learning. Click on the title to give it a title up there. So the first question is their name, and we're gonna put, we want them to put their name exactly how it is on the MIS system. So we're gonna say exactly as it is in PowerSchool. Uh, and we can have a short answer there, and we can have a required question for that. So let's create another question, and this is grade. Okay, so in grade, we're gonna add some options here. Um, we're gonna say, grade nine. Then we're gonna add another field, and this is the service area. So we're gonna put service. And then we need to put services. Now I'm only gonna put two options uh, at the moment, and then we're gonna start adding options in the administration side of this, uh, this course. So we're gonna say service, let's just call this service one, and then we're gonna say service Two. Now obviously you'd replace those with the names of the actual services that you're using. And then we're gonna click on the next one. Okay, so that's the initial information that we need from the student, and now we want them to add their reflections. So we're gonna add a section here, and we're gonna call this reflection, and then we can start adding the reflection details. Now obviously you can add descriptions here uh, as well at the top you can add descriptions to give them more information about the form but for the purpose of this we're just going to leave them as they are. So I'm just going to quickly fill in the questions that they will require uh, by adding the questions. So I'm just going to go through these very quickly now. I've created all the questions. Um, they, the questions could be anything that you want them to be, but this is uh, uh, the service learning for KIS. So now let's add a new section, and we're gonna call this digital signature. In the description, I'm just gonna paste some information about the digital signature, and then I'm gonna add a new question, and this is going to be a checkbox with I agree. Okay, the last thing we need to do, I just want to go through and just make sure that all of these questions are actually required. So I forgot to do that earlier. So let's make these all required questions uh, because we want the students to actually complete these and not skip them. So I'm just going to make them all required. And then we want the agreed that needs to be required, and there's answers up here. That's required already. We need to say required for grade, and the service, we need that required as well. Okay, so that's the student form completed now. Um, and what we can do is we can actually create the spreadsheet for that form. So by clicking on responses, and then we click on create spreadsheet, and we just want to create a new one and then that's going to create that spreadsheet. Okay, I just like to tidy things up a bit by selecting column A, and then going over to the end, and column L, shift and then L to select them all, and then I just want to wrap the text there just to make things a little neater. Okay, so that's the student service learning spreadsheet uh, and form. Now we need to create the supervisor spreadsheet. So we're gonna go back to our Google Drive, and then I'm gonna create a new form. And this one is going to be the supervisor one. So let's give the, the form a name. So let's give the form a name and let's just make sure that that's titled at the top there. And now we can start entering the questions. So the first question we need is we need to know what service it is. So let's put in here, service partner. Now, if you remember back at the on the other form, we had two services, so we just want to put these in here, so service one and service two. So now we have the two services. 
uh, we only had two on the last one, so we only need to put two here. But as we go through this, I will explain how we attach more services when necessary. So we're gonna make this a required question because it needs to be there. And it needs to be a go-to section based on answer. We need to have that selected as well because as the supervisor ticks one of these, we want it to go to a, that particular service so they can, they can approve it. So now we need to add a section. So this section is going to be named service one. Okay, so um, at the beginning there, I'm going to add a one there because in reality, this wouldn't be called service one, it would be called something else. So I'm gonna put a one there because then that identifies this particular section as the first service. Okay, so now we're gonna add a new question. The question we want is the name of the student and the date that they actually took that service. So because this is service one, we're gonna put a one there to identify the question, and then we need to ask the question. So this is going to be, so we're selecting the name and the date of the student. Okay, so that's all we need for this particular one. Then we're gonna actually add a new section. And this is going to be section two. So two dot service two. And obviously the service will be different. And then we're gonna add a new question. Now we could just duplicate this above question and bring it, bring it down, but I'm just gonna type it in. And it needs to be exactly the same here as that question. So we can just copy and paste and then change that to a two. We're not gonna put any options in at the moment because we're gonna have this populated from another spreadsheet, which we'll come onto in another video. Okay, so that's the two service areas. We're now gonna create another section. Let's call this details and let's add a question. And the question is, did the student attend that service trip on that? So we want two options, yes, no, and that will be enough. And we also want to make a required question and we want to go to, go to section based on answer. We'll, we'll come back to in a second. Then we want to add a new section. And this section is going to be called expectation details. Let's add a new question. And let's put the question in, did the student meet your expectations? So we want a yes and a no there as well. Let's make that a required question. And again, we want to go to page based on answer. We want to add another section, details of expectation. Let's add a question. Basically, if they've answered no to the previous question, then they need to complete this. And let's ask, add one more section for the electronic sign-off. Add a question here, sign-off, click to agree, and there we go. All right, so that's the form, but we now need to just make sure that our, our sections are going to the right places. So if service... If service one is chosen, then we can click on this and then we can go to the service one section, okay? And then if service two is chosen, then we can go to the service two section, all right? So they are, they are fine at the moment. Um, then it's gonna put the service one in. So after service one, we want it then to go to the details section. And after service two, we want it to go to the details section, which is gonna do anyway. And then we've got here, all right, so did the student attend the service trip? If it did attend the service trip, then we can go to expectation details. If they didn't, we want it then to go to the electronic sign-off. And after this form, we want it to go to the next section, which is fine. Then expectation details, if they did, then we want to go to the electronic sign-off. And then if they didn't, then we want it to go to section six here, which is details of expectations. Okay, um, continue to the next section. Then we can go to details of expectations. That's fine. And then so on and so forth. So now there we've got our form. And now what we can do, we can go to responses and we can click on create spreadsheets and we create a new spreadsheet for the service learning supervisor form. And then let's just tidy this up by selecting A, and then we can go all the way up to K with a shift, and then I just want to text wrap that. Okay, so that's the first section of this tutorial course 
on how to set up a service learning system. The next step is to link these spreadsheets together so they're pulling in the data from each other and then write some formulas to manipulate the data into what we want it to do.